Hi, I'm Joan Newcomb, and today's Morning Musings is all about spirals. I'm doing a series of daily Morning Musings, and I'm using articles from my blog, Adventures in Density and Effort, as inspiration. Now, I wrote these articles a while back, and the world has completely changed since then. So if I encounter anything that needs updating, I'm going to interrupt myself and give you the most recent information. And then when I finish, I will give you a summary of what's going on in the world today. Plus, I have some specials for you. So stay tuned to the very end and find out what they are. Spirals. Years ago, when I was studying to be a transformation game facilitator, Joy Drake and Kathy Tyler explained why the game went counterclockwise instead of clockwise on the board. It was a similar explanation to what I'd heard at Findhorn for why, when standing in a circle, we all held hands facing to the right. It's the energy of spiritual involution, that is, spirit coming into the physical. Spiritual evolution goes clockwise, energy rising up, so to speak. So it really indicates whether you're coming from your body personality that you have to go up to spiritually advance, or when you're coming from the perspective of consciousness, coming down into your form and becoming more embodied. And in actuality, both things are happening at the same time. There's a continuous flow of energy coming into form and energy being released outward towards spirit. If your focus is on attracting spiritual energy or bringing spirit into form, spiritual embodiment, then your focus will be on the counterclockwise flow of energy. And I will have to say that one of the things I've noticed as I have gone through this consciousness shift is that there really isn't any up or down or even really in or out for this. Although I do remember in the past, it was very real to me up and down and in and out. But for me now, I find consciousness by going deeper within. I started to notice the spiral of energy again when this friend of mine died that I've talked a lot about. For months afterwards, I'd be aware of his presence intensely and then realize that it was Friday midday here on the West Coast. Well, he was hit by a car on a Friday on the East Coast and died that evening. So after several instances of this, I got the impression that he was experiencing connections with a physical dimension at certain times, like going in a cycle, where the two spirals of our energy meet. Recently, I've been talking a lot about growth cycles and using this metaphor of remodeling one's house to explain spiritual growth. So if you think of your life as a house, and when you're born, your parents fill it with all their information about living and existence. And when you start to consciously take over, you begin to remodel your own house. This can take people some years to get around to, especially if they spent a formative part of themselves living in dysfunctional situations or frying their system on drugs or alcohol. So you find yourself in the basement moving out your parents' information or rebuilding your foundation if you decimated your life up to that point. And people get discouraged because the next level may look the same as the previous level. Damn, it's the same wallpaper, the same plastic pipes? Didn't I just replace them with copper? And in actuality, you're on a different floor. You've made progress. And the skills you learned on previous floors about plumbing, electricity, wiring, etc. will help you make this floor and the floors to come so much easier to remodel. I've been through some life experiences where I felt like I'd been knocked back to a previous floor. Sometimes this just shows that my original foundation wasn't strong enough. Most recent changes have proven that the floor beneath me is solid. I just need to gain some new skills to handle the present construction challenges. When I combine the remodeling metaphor with the concept of spirals, I find they go together so well and gave me a deeper insight to our process of spiritual growth. We're progressing along a spiral and we reach a certain point in the curve. It may seem to resemble the one below it, but in reality, we're at the next level. If you're feeling frustrated with where you are in your life, take a look at it in terms of the bigger picture, the cycles of the spiral that you've been through or the different floors that you've remodeled. Realize that your building is never ending. You'll never get it completed because there'll always be something new to improve upon or change. You don't need to make it perfect because even imperfection is perfect in the eyes of consciousness. So just have fun and enjoy the process. Know that energy is never stuck. It is always moving, even if it seems to be moving too slowly. Even by doing nothing, you'll eventually progress and find yourself at a different part of the spiral. Depending on the intensity of your remodeling plans, you may want to take a more active part in your choices or actions, but sometimes just letting go and letting it flow is the best action for you. When I come into alignment with consciousness, spirit or source, and make my choices according to my internal navigation system, does this feel clear, 
Does this feel good? Does this feel staticky? Do I feel resistant? Then the journey along the spiral is fun. When I use outdated information or I'm concerned about what other people think of my process and base my steps on them, then it's a lot more painful than fun. And the remodel usually has to get torn down and rebuilt. So you're viewing this for a reason. You chose to open it at this time, and this is the right moment for it. So think about how this applies to your life, and if it gives you any insight to how you are or how you could be creating your own reality. It may give you the clues that you've been looking for, and feel free to pass this on to anyone else who may need it. So you're viewing this today for a reason. Think about how it applies to your life, and if it gives you any insight to how you are or could be creating your reality. And let me know in the comments below because I love reading your comments. And also I have a free sample for you. It's called the Skybox Technique. So click on it in the links below, the Skybox Technique, and it'll give you a greater perspective of what's going on in your life today. And if you want to know more, my website is joan-newcomb.com. I do individual sessions where I take a look at the essence of who you are and what's going on in your life today. And I can answer any questions that you might have, and I can help you with energetic changes as well. And if you want to learn how to do this for yourself, go to my website and I have a coaching special tailor-made just for you where I work with you one-on-one -on -one and give you specific consciousness techniques that help you transform your life. So go to my website, joan newcombcom and I'll see you tomorrow for another Morning Musings.